Gary, for those of you who are not sure, um, I was born and bred in Liverpool. Went to Our Lady of Mount Carmel Junior School. Um, as I was growing up, uh, with it being a Catholic school, we did do assemblies and things like that, so you know, little tiny little bits about Jesus being uh, a miracle worker, beyond that, nothing. Uh, as I grew up, uh, as I grew up, uh, my mum would take me to church, not every Sunday, just some Sundays. Uh, by the time I was a teenager, I was trying to duck out of it all the time, didn't want to go, but I'd go play football, do whatever I wanted to do. Uh, and that was generally the trend then, just drifted away from church, got a job, drifted along, me and Mandy got a house, had kids, uh, a few years down the line, uh, marriage starts to really crumble, starts falling apart, things are just not going right, um, lots of alcohol involved and partying and stuff like that. Um, then Mandy goes to the south coast one last time, she said, okay, yeah, fair enough. She went, it stuck. She finished the course. She started going to church. Um, she became dead calm. So I was thinking, well, it's good, there's something happening here. So uh, anyways, this happened for months. She kept going and I thought, well, what's going on? And then I just started thinking, I need to find out if there's something in it for me, because I need sorting out myself, you know what I mean? So in the end, I said to her one morning, I said, I'll come to church with you. So I went. I didn't know what to expect. Got closer to the door, heard all sorts of music. So I thought, oh, that's a good start, a bit of music. I never remember that from church years ago. Went in, sat down, didn't think anything of the service because not sunk in. I was just there to just to observe, see what it was about. Come on. Um, she said, what did you think? I said, yeah, it was all right. I enjoyed the music. It was all right. You know what I mean? So next week went back again. Started enjoying it. Thought, yeah, it's all right. David Gavin was pleasant enough. He preached good enough. I could understand some of what he was saying. And then David come over to me, David Gavin. He's the, he said, would you like to go on an Alpha course? He said, he's been coming now for about, you know, two or three months. Would you like to come? I said, yeah, okay, I'll give it a try. So, um, and we started off with the a little book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, and loads of illustrations of how um, we've been sinning, um, always thinking of yourself, doing your own things, which is what I was doing basically. That illustration on the telly was boss, you know, going out boozing, watching the footy, loads of money, telly whenever you want, not a hint of God in it. Um, so I went to that for about six weeks. Uh, we went through the Gospel of Matthew, we went through all the illustrations and it was getting clearer and clearer and clearer and it was understanding and it was God opening my eyes, uh, showing me that, you know, I have been sinned but, but there's grace there, there's Jesus there and he's, he's the only way to be saved. Um, and when you come to Jesus, the slate's white clean. He illustrated that brilliant as well. And so after about three months in church, after the Alpha uh, course finished, I just went up to him and said, listen, I said, I'm ready to give my life to Christ. I said, what do I need to do? And he just looked at me and he said, what you need to do is turn around and repent. Repent, turn around, follow Jesus. Don't be following the road of destruction. And that's what I did. I went home that night, prayed to Christ, asked him into my life. Said I wanted him to be in charge of it. Um, and that was it, yeah. I've been going to church ever since I've been growing in the gospel. Um, and yeah, it's been really good for me. There's been loads of ups and downs, as there always is in life. There's going to be times you fall over and you go back to your old ways. But Jesus is there. He'll forgive you them sins all the time. Um, and you become more convicted, so you don't want to sin as much anyway. I just prayed the prayer. And that was it. My sins were wiped away. Clean slate. God loves me. I love him. And yeah. Family life's great. No more bickering, no more arguing. Well, we do have ups and downs, <laughs> but you know, nowhere near to the fact that we were on the verge of divorce and selling the house and all that. That's all gone. No more. So yeah, it's been good. It's been good. And that's it, really.